Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another weekly video here on the channel and I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video as we go for one of the most expensive M4s and probably my favorite M4 in the game right now, guys, known as the M4A4 Neo Noir, obviously taking over the, after the USP, the same skin exactly, and I'm going today for the Stat Track Factory new one. At the point of me recording this video, it's right around $600, it might be a bit less, and actually the point of its release, it was over $1,000. It's kind of seen a general degrade in, in price over time, but of course, with a seven day trade ban not helping that out. But either way, guys, today we're gonna have two attempts at a Stat Track Factory New Neo Noir, uh, two Stat Track Factory New attempts. I'm also going to try four times for the Factory New one, and then one well worn attempt as well. So, overall, guys, seven attempts at a Neo Noir. Will I get one is the real question, or will I, of course, probably most likely just lose a bunch of money? So, for the first attempt, I did actually do uh, P2000 or P2K Imperials. I'm going to link down below all the skins I use for the trade ups, guys. They're the cheapest pinks you can actually use to try and have a chance at the Neo Noir if you guys do want to try it yourself. The first attempt, I had nine well worn Imperials, cost me just over 30 $13.80 and we got back well actually luckily enough we got back a field tested but it was unfortunately enough a Glock Wasteland Rebel so we have their money right there the Glock Wasteland Rebel just worth over $7 so right away we start off the bat <laughs> losing money and it, it only gets worse now over the course of the next four openings or next four trade ups I did actually use the P2K Imperial the Nova Antique and a few of them I actually used the Tech 9 fuel injector I believe those are your top three cheapest pings to actually use to give you guys some background information as well for each of these factory new attempts uh, each of them being around 10% chance actually exactly 10% chance each I actually paid $31.50 for each and every one of these so just over a grand total of $120 for all four attempts and uh, as you guys could probably tell on screen we're not doing too hot and we uh, we didn't get it we actually got an mp7 uh, blood sport worth just over $17 then we got two Glock wasteland rebels that's the worst thing you can get those are worth just over $10 a piece and very lastly the one trade up we actually made money on we did get a field tested op Asimov just worth over $40 so so far we're still in the hole we actually lost a lot of money there but it's 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 a manageable amount now for the big attempts though the ones I just I get so nervous for every time each and every one of these trade-ups for the stat track factory new uh, stat track factory new neon where we paid over hundred and ten dollars each for it, and each attempt only has a 10% chance so the odds are definitely not in our favor and uh, either is the money the risk is probably not worth the reward in this case but it's definitely worth the video